3D phase measurement optical tips include an LED-based structured light projection system that allows the visual IQ to produce a three-dimensional surface scan of the object. Measurements are then made directly on the surface and displayed on the image. 3D phase measurement accuracy improves as tip-to-target distance is reduced. The rangefinder bar icon can be used to gauge the suitability of the current tip-to-target distance for a given measurement. When the surface is too far for measurement, a single bar is shown, and measurement should not be attempted. As the tip is moved closer to the surface, more bars are illuminated. Large length measurements may be performed with few bars illuminated while still achieving good accuracy. To capture a 3D phase measurement image, attach either a forward view or side view 3D phase measurement optical tip to the probe. Each measurement tip must be factory calibrated to a particular probe and may be calibrated to more than one probe. To ensure measurement accuracy, verify the tip's accuracy each time it is installed. Verify that the Visual IQ system has automatically identified the 3D PM optical tip. The rangefinder will appear near the upper right corner of the live image. First, when the target is in position, select 3D PM Capture, or if you're working with a saved image, select Measurement. The 3D phase measurement scan will begin. Then choose the type of phase measurement. The patented zoom window automatically opens, allowing for precise positioning of the active cursor. Tap the window's edges or tap on the cursor, then control with the joystick to adjust the active cursor position. Place cursors on the desired feature. Up to five measurements may be placed on each image. For length or point-to-point -point measurement, place both cursors at the desired locations. For point-to-line measurement, place the first two cursors to define a reference line. Place the third cursor at the perpendicular distance you want to measure. Verify the measurements using the point cloud. and return to the measurement screen to adjust your cursors if needed. For depth measurement, place the first three cursors to define a reference plane. Press the Enter button and the highest or lowest measurement depth will automatically be displayed. Negative measurements indicate that the point lies below the plane. Positive measurements indicate that it lies above the plane. To do an area measurement, such as missing material of a compressor blade, first select Measurement Plane to establish a surface mask. Place three cursors on the surface. A strong green mask is needed for best results. The plane is extended onto the shroud illustrated by a green line. Press Add Measurement and select Area. Place three or more cursors, up to 24, around the edge of the area you want to measure. When finished, press twice or select Done, and the area closes. Area results are displayed in the top left corner. Use Point Cloud to verify cursor placement. For multi-segment measurement, place two or more measurement cursors, up to 24, to create line segments along the feature. When finished, press twice or select Done and the line is finalized. For tip to shroud measurement, create a plane to identify the surface mask of the blade.
and then use depth measurement on the shroud. The point cloud is used to verify your measurement. AIT offers the most complete range of remote visual inspection equipment anywhere. With a sales and support staff that have an average of 20 years industry experience, you can be certain you'll receive the best solution for your inspection. To learn more about purchasing or renting the Mentor IQ Measurement Borescope or any other inspection products from AIT, visit AITproducts.com or call 321-610-8977.